we are at Disney World to check out Rise of the Resistance. And then I will destroy you and your resistance. Welcome to Double Your WDW, the channel that gives you the best Disney World tips, tricks, and advice to plan your ultimate Disney adventure. So if you want to plan the absolute best Disney vacation for your family, you're in the right place. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you can be the first to know about what's new in the world of Disney. It also makes Mickey smile. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. All right, let's get into it. Rise of the Resistance opened on December 5th of 2019, and it's a brand new ride over at Hollywood Studios in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Rise of the Resistance is a brand new ride where Kylo Ren takes you as prisoner, and it's this whole interactive experience. They're animatronics, it's part dark ride, it's a little bit of a thrill ride. It's kind of everything rolled into one. So the queue, you're weaving your way through a cave. It's all part of the rebel base. And so you're gonna see um, blasters and flight equipment and just all sorts of cool props. So the ride really starts while you're still in the queue. The cast members are all in character. You're taken prisoner. And so they are there to keep you in line and to make sure that you know nobody can escape from Kylo Ren. And so you're, boarding a ship, the ship is taken prisoner and so everybody is then ushered into a holding cell and it's just this whole really cool interactive experience that's part of the ride before you're actually even in the ride vehicle. So it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. The whole experience itself I'd say is about 20 minutes and that includes the ride, it includes the the pre-show in the queue, like it's, it's a whole interactive experience that starts even before you set foot in the ride vehicle. All of the cast members are in character. So when you're taken prisoner, they are all in character to usher you through. They're very stern. They're, you know, they're really playing up their roles. And so it makes it a lot of fun. So the ride starts uh, after you are put into a holding cell. The ride starts when you make your escape into a vehicle that has been reprogrammed with a droid that is helping you to escape. The animatronics are amazing. There are several. Um, there are like blasters and stuff blowing holes in the walls. There's lightsabers coming at you. So it's just a whole lot of really cool effects that I've never even seen before anywhere else. Some of it looked like maybe projection mapping, some of it was screen, some of it was animatronics. I don't even know what all of it was. Like it was just a combination of, of everything that Disney is capable of doing all on one ride. The ride vehicle is a trackless vehicle. So you're sitting in rows of, I believe four, and you're piloted by a droid who's sitting in the front. So it's trackless and you're moving around, zipping around, trying to escape. I think this ride's fur. Anybody, if, if you meet the height requirement, um, while it's, I would say it's part thrill ride, there's really, it's not a roller coaster. There's a tiny drop, but it's like, it really isn't a, a big deal. And you're, if you have a cue, maybe comfortable with the level of interaction, uh, I would definitely do this. Anyone who's remotely interested in Star Wars would be interested in this ride. I loved the animatronics. Kylo Ren was very realistic and frightening, and I thought that was a lot of fun. I would definitely do this ride, get to the parks early, uh, make time for it, get there at opening if you have to, do this ride because in my opinion, it's the best ride that Disney World has ever done. Join the resistance.